Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. If there's a deficiency of faith, almost always it's because there's been a deficiency of feeding upon the Word. You know, Tuesday nights at my house, they're really fun. We call it family night. And I'd say 90% of the time, I do all the cooking. And I look forward to it. I'll spend most of the day doing it. Everybody comes over, and it's mayhem in the house. Um, you know, there's sports on TV, or we on TV, or just, there's just, you know, you get little grandsons, and it's just nuts. It's wonderful, but it's nuts. And um, so last night, we had family night. And I decided to make meatballs. A friend of mine gave me some beautiful organic beef from Montana, and I took it and I made these oh, <laughs> with onions and all these beautiful spices and freshly grated Parmesan cheese, these amazing meatballs, and I started this vegetable soup early in the morning and it simmered all day with peppers and carrots and celery and onions and mushrooms and oh, it was so good. <laughs> And I made, I got it for my, that's for Christmas, I got a brand new deep fryer. That was my Christmas gift. And I made a mountain of French fries. So we've got all these beautiful meatballs, just, um, vegetable soup, and, you know, a stack of French fries this tall that vaporized in about 19 seconds. <laughs> and, you know, we ate that, and we got physical strength from it. I even had... A couple of meatballs for lunch today, leftover meatballs. Man, they were good. <laughs> now, you know what? Two weeks from now, I can describe to you the same meal. I can tell you about the meatballs. I can tell you how long I put them in the oven for. I can tell you everything about making them. I can tell you how it tasted. But I'm no longer going to derive physical strength from that meal two weeks on. And you know... When I feed upon God's word, faith comes by hearing. It gives me a spiritual strength called faith. But I, have, faith, I love the way it puts it. Faith comes by hearing. It's this continuous tense. Faith comes by hearing, not by having heard. That's why it's so important that we daily feed upon the word. Even when the Israelites gathered up the manna and, you know, God's words, that is the bread come down from heaven. But when the, the Israelites gathered this, this, this manna, this bread from heaven every day, there was just enough for the day. If they tried to save it up and store it up, it spoiled and it bred worms. God was teaching them a lesson that when it comes to the living word, we have to feed daily in order for our faith to be growing and to be active. And so I'll say it again, if there's a deficiency in faith, it almost always, almost always goes back to a deficiency in the Word. If you will just spend time feeding on the Word, reading it, thinking about it, considering it, praying about it, speaking it aloud to yourself, faith will come unconsciously. <laughs>